All right, guys, welcome back to Our World Outdoors, and it's finally here. Oh, I've been waiting forever for this. We're doing an overnight finale to our NCT 100 miles. Now, first things first, we don't exactly know what we're going to do in camp, but we're starting at... The North Country Buckeye Trailhead, just off of Fork... Archer's Fork Road. Okay, so we're <laughs> off Archer's Fork Road here at the NCT BT Trailhead. I've got a vehicle parked here. We've already dropped off Missy's vehicle over at Archer's Fork where we're gonna spend the night. Now, there is a small campsite behind the cemetery we're gonna try and stay in. Can't really have a fire there. Well, I don't wanna have a fire there. There is a small fire ring. But it's also got a three inch gas line right next to it and it's the plastic gas line. So I would rather not have a fire by that. So the plan is to stay there. Worst case, if somebody's already taking the site, we'll stay in the vehicle just cause I'm gonna be too tired and not wanna go hike in the woods to find a spot. Now the next day we will get up to finish it and we will be heading to? Ring Mill Campground. Okay. so. All through this, we're going to be shuffling vehicles. You see we've got the day pack on. We have all our gear in our bags in the vehicles. We're just wanting to go light because we got, you know, we're going to end up with 26 miles one way or another. We think it actually might be a little more. But that is what we need to finish. We're going to knock it out. It's going to be some big days. we got a nice stretch of weather here. It's going to be cold at night and 70s during the day. So I think it's time we get our butts going. Mm-hmm. We're running a little late. As always. All right, guys, so we just popped out of the woods here. We're going to get ready to eat a little bit. For those of you following our fitness journey, we've switched from cutting to maintenance calories. So basically, we have to eat all day because our muscles are just chewing it up. So we got some trail mix we're going to eat on. So we popped out at the Scenic River Trail here. And then we're going to come across the street and go on the Nine Bells Trail, which actually leads to Archer's Fork. So that kind of gives you an idea where we're going, what we're doing. You know, the, the whole thing about this is watching up till now, if you like this kind of content, please take a moment, go down, hit that like button because it helps us a lot with the YouTube algorithm. Basically puts this video in front of more eyes. It shows that there's interaction. So if you could take a moment and do that for us, we'd greatly appreciate it. That said, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat some of this trail mix for my wife eats it all. What trail mix? Exactly.
right guys so we just finished the nine bell trail from that way and now we are headed to archer's fork back that way man am i glad we're to this section that nine bell trail is no joke it has some elevation so if you guys like seeing tony do elevation make sure you hit that thumbs up button really we'll get him some more trails planned but in the meantime we brought us one mountain dew to share i'm gonna share a mountain dew have a protein bar mountain dew zero drink some water and then we're gonna get back at it because we still got several miles to go All right, guys, and we're done. So, came out at Archer's Fork uh, 14 miles, popped up out of the woods. What are you doing? Drinking your Mountain Dew. Give me my Mountain Dew. That's <laughs> not very nice. So, what happened is we jumped in the car and came back to Trailhead. We started from where my truck is, their school bus. Anyways, we came back to this trailhead where we started from because the trailhead at Archers is packed. 
that we actually met a bunch of the hunters on the trail as we were out and they're down here deer hunting so like the campsite that's at the entrance they had camped uh behind the trailhead sign behind the cemetery some were sleeping in the bed of their trucks some were actually in on the trail so we're like yeah spending the night here is just not going to work so we opted to come over here and stay the night over here at the north country trail now it is a little loud you can hear the traffic going by but we're not even going to go through the trouble to set up our hammocks now we are actually going to lay the seats down in the cr crv crv lay the seats down the crv lay our gear out and just crash in this for tonight and then in the morning we'll take both vehicles back over stage them up one will be at archers one will be a ring mill and then we'll go on our way to ring mill from archers and then finish our day now we have 14 today so we actually only need 12 tomorrow but we're going to put probably 13 to 14. now i'm going to walk up on this hill because i want to show you guys this water source but before we do let's talk about what we're going to eat tonight so i'm eating up leftovers because we have like one of this and one of that so in mine i mixed one little half bag of meatloaf we had with a sausage biscuit and gravy and i'm going to rehydrate this and then put it on some wraps because we have like a little of this a little of that in the freezer and we're trying to get rid of it all because we got some new recipes coming for you guys and we got to make room in the freezer now what are you having spaghetti she has the One last of my favorites she has the last of the spaghetti she ate the last of the buffalo chicken now she's eating the last of the spaghetti you see how this woman is takes all the good stuff <laughs> but while she starts to get out all the cook kit and stuff to make this let's walk up here i want to show you this water source up here because if you guys want to come down here and camp this is a great place to camp because you could set your tent right up here on top of this hill and there's like a little watershed water I don't know pond I don't know what you'd call that but crick but it's a nice place to camp if you wanted to up here I mean there's some area here now tonight we will not have a fire because there's no firing here for one it's very dry for two and for three you know I don't see the point of messing up the trail and having a fire we're exhausted Missy has a book basically she says she wants to eat and then lay down and read her book i would probably eat and i'm gonna stuff myself and i'm probably gonna lay down and pass out we also didn't bring the ring light so then we're gonna cuddle she calls it cuddling i call it she wants to wear my butt out before i get on the trail tomorrow but yes we're gonna spend some quality time quality time together is what we're gonna call I'll it i'll be sleeping <laughs> you can I'm sleep tired. right through it you do it all the time anyway so with that said, I want to show you how country hiker trash my wife is. So let me turn you around. Take a look at that, guys. So she didn't bring a hair tie today. And I was like, well, why don't you just take one of them sticks right there and put it through your hair? So she like grabs it, does it all up, and just down the trail. It stayed in pretty much all day. I gotta say that was pretty ingenious she uh, she got it done but with that said guys there's really no point for us to go much farther with you we're going to eat and pretty much bed down for the night we just wanted to explain why we came to the other trailhead instead it's just too many guys over there they were you know they're having a good time and i've got nothing against that but i need to get some sleep tonight i'm gonna do another 13 or 14 tomorrow just also because missy works 10 hour days all week gets up extremely early so her coming down doing this and then yesterday i did a concrete job so carrying buckets into a basement so we're wore out with that said we're going to leave you guys here with that at this point because i'm going to go eat and i'm going to cuddle with my woman we will see you guys in the morning with the conclusion of the next 13 mile segment good night all right guys good morning so had a good night over at the north country trail buckeye trail trailhead had uh some oatmeal and protein powder for breakfast pretty good night's sleep have to remember next time to bring the air mattress we slept on some reflectix now we slept good other than my wife complaining because i messed with her all night <laughs> 
Anyways, uh, had a person pull in about 3 a.m. to turn around, and that woke me up. But other than that, it was a pretty good night, honestly. I, I have, slept right through it. Yeah, she did. <laughs> but, uh, so we got up this morning, tossed the truck over at Ring Mill Campground, which is where we're going, came here to Archer's Fork, and there's even more people here. So there's almost no room to park. Had to, like, push the vehicle off the road a little bit on the edge. I'm glad we brought the CRV here because it would have been really hard to park your truck. Yeah, but as you see, she has her orange on. There's going to be a lot of hunters out. We only are on the Archer's Fork, I think, for like two miles, something yeah, like that. Yeah, around two miles. And then we'll be off into the woods on the NCT heading for Ring Mill. It's going to be a pretty good day. Kind of feel like it's got a real nice start. It's cool. It did get cool last night. I'm not going to lie. Mm -hmm. But I did miss my hammock, and I'm ready to get on the trail now and work these sore, cramped up legs out. So, let's go. guys so we are at where the spot where we leave Archer's Fork and we head up the North Country Trail which is close to the Pioneer Trail I don't know if they run consecutively together but the Archer's Fork came down that hill went that direction Buckeye Trail came down that hill and we're going that direction so we're probably about two and a half miles from the trailhead now just to give you an idea of about where it's at and Tony needs to step it up because he has taken way too much footage. Really? Thank you. 
All right, guys, so we basically plopped down in the middle of the trail on this uh, moss-covered section here. It's almost like carpet. It's really comfortable. At least it feels comfortable to us. We are in full hiker trash mode. We stink. Same clothes for two days. We stink. Um, any hunters that were out here, my wife was giving them a show earlier because she stripped down out of her shirt, put her hoodie on, and then switched because it's gone from like 40 degrees to like 70 degrees. So she has changed her clothing around like three times. She was running around in a brawl for a while. Um, I'm about to the point where I'm going to take my shirt off. I'm dying. But we're sitting down for break here. Seven and a half miles in. That's 21 and a half for the two day total so far. Thinking about another seven to go, maybe. Somebody planned this trip with very haphazardly. Anyways, so we're going to eat this whole thing of peanuts right now because we are in a major calorie deficit and we're on maintenance calories, so we shouldn't be in maintenance. At maintenance, we shouldn't be in a deficit. So we're going to eat this whole thing. Also, we're replenish our salt. We have some water with some Mio with electrolyte in it. We're going to suck that down. We have one more bottle of water and we have the filter if we need it, but... There is tons of elevation and tons of wildlife we've seen turkeys we've seen deer we've seen squirrels we've seen chipmunks heard a four-wheeler heard a four-wheeler yeah yeah the, the animal kingdom of uh i'm a weekend hunter going on big time but overall an excellent hike we also saw some uh well, it looks like a car, an old like Model A or Model T or something. They've been converted into running a oil rig. It was just sitting in the middle of the woods. It was awesome. That was really cool. Definitely would encourage you guys to check out some of these NCT Buckeye Trail backcountry areas. They're nice areas. The trails are nice, but yet, honestly, a lot of people don't come down here. It's things you would never get to see on the main trails. But... We're going to finish up eating, get back on the trail, because I'm ready to make it to Ring Mill and have a nice cold Mountain Dew Zero. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so welcome to Ring Mill. Just a quick run around here. Four sites you rent by dropping cash. It's a pay site down here in Wayne National Forest down in the Marietta unit. Nice little place. As you can see, it's a Saturday night in bow season of deer hunting, and there is no one here. Now, they do have a pavilion with picnic tables, pit toilets, trash cans, and the old Ring Mill is right there. Now, enough of that. 
Let's talk about what's important. That's right. We officially just crushed the 2020 NCT Hike 100 Challenge. And while we are completely okay with anybody who did it the way they said during the pandemic, where you could hike pretty much anywhere and it would count towards it NCT miles. Awesome that they did that. It's amazing they did that. We decided not to. We were waiting it out. And now, as you can see, it's November and we're finishing on a huge weekend where I will have to have my beautiful wife hold my pop and talk to you guys while I dig out my phone to get us our true mileage because I forgot to. So. So yesterday we got 14 miles. We had 26 left. So that left us with 12 to go. <laughs> so we finished with 15 and a half miles today for a grand total of two day for two days we got 29 and a half miles so almost a 30 mile day now mind you by the time we take this truck over and you know go get the other vehicle at archers and all that stuff we will end up having 30 miles you'll get a half mile between walking around the camp here and all the stuff for us but we don't count any of that extra stuff we do for video filming but we do count it towards our fitness so this has been a heck of a year we're gonna actually sit down and do a full to outtake video you know talking about everything that went on this year and how it was hard to get these miles and all that once we get our certificate and get patched up you know like we do every year but we're still debating on next year and what's going to happen with that, but I'm officially very, very proud of us. We had a big couple days. Me too. I love you, and I had a I great time you. over this last two days. Sleeping in your car sucks, though, without the air mattress. Just saying. I should just leave it in there for just in case emergencies. Yeah. I like that idea. Make but. All that said, thank you guys. If you watched this far into the video, we greatly appreciate it. And that definitely means you are definitely supporting us and we appreciate you. Now, that said, if you be so kind and you enjoyed this video at all, please go hit that like button. It does help us. It helps our channel get in front of more eyes. Make sure you hit the subscribe and the notification bell. And I'm ready to go home and eat. So you're going to make me some cauliflower wings. Gretchen, yes. this is your fault. That's right. Gretchen, it's your fault. I love you for bringing cauliflower wings to the table. I'm not so sure I love you for the cauliflower wings anymore. But I'm the only one that matters. <laughs> that said, it's time to go. So we will see you up the trail.